Are you ready, Finnegan? Landed so low. To see your new home. So, let me give you a quick house tour. I'm sorry for their loud clicking and whining. They're just excited, but you know what? This is dog mom life. So, you walk in the front door, and then whoosh, you're in the living room. Yeah, hi. Um, the living room is decently sized. It's decent, you know, pretty big. What do you think, Finn? What I love, though, are the windows. I'm trying not to show too much, but I love, there's four huge windows here, so that's exciting. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, you're gonna love watching the squirrels. Look at all that. All right, so we have the living room, and then the house is split up into uh, two sides. So this actually used to be, I, I'll do another video on more details about this house specifically, but the house is actually an older home that was redone. And um, what they did was it used to be like a 700 square foot home, but then they added on a whole new section. So on this side of the home, so here's the front door, is are the bedrooms, office, laundry area, guest bath, etc. And then on this side is the kitchen. What do you guys think of the kitchen? What do you think, Ben? And this is to the backyard. And you guys will know what we're missing. Yep, there's no... There's no patio. That means lots of mud, so that's gonna be a top priority. Please comment below if you have any patio ideas. Uh, don't want to break the bank, just bought a house, so I'd like to keep it somewhat reasonable, but uh, yeah, that definitely is gonna need to be something they, that we do. They built this home as a mid-century modern style home, so the ceilings are a little bit lower, which is gonna be excellent for the echo. It, generally speaking with my videos, I love these beams that they have. So this is the dining space. Again, that's the living room. Okay guys, let's show them the kitchen. Or do you wanna show them in here? Okay, they wanna show you. This is just an extra room, if you will. Not a bedroom by any means, but there's the garage out that way. And then when you walk in here, it's a pretty decent sized room. Be a great dog room, little study, mud room. I'm not sure what we're gonna use it for. What do you think, Ben? Oops, your camera's all messed up. There we go. It has a nice view of the backyard here and the kitchen's over there. So uh, the backyard kind of wraps around, which we'll get to that. Pin again, what are you doing? Get off. Come on. I know you see the neighbor dog, but we can't play right now. Come here. Good job. Uh, I like the window. This was kind of a big thing for me of, of what I loved was the uh, backyard. It's really big and it wraps around, which I really like for these guys. Let me be honest. We bought this home for the dogs and for Haven, the cat, of course, but everything had to be perfect. There could be no stairs. There had to be a fourth bedroom so the dogs had their own room and of course a big yard. So that's, there you go. Uh, so over here, that's where the fridge will go. Just more kitchen space. There's a pantry in here. It's pretty, I mean, it works. I can move in here. What do you guys think of the pantry? <laughs> could, could this be your bedroom, Finn? What do you think, Ben? Big enough for you? <laughs> Some built-ins, obviously I already moved this stuff in. <laughs> of course, that was priority. And then let's go to the first bedroom. Finnegan. Do you want to show them the first bedroom? Hi. Oh, so here's the first bedroom. I've already moved a couple things in here. This will likely be my office because, you know, I do a lot of filming in here and work, and so I want as much light as possible. Look at all that light. Yeah. So it's a nice, a nice room. So then it has a closet. And I've already moved over some of the essentials. Of course, pictures of the boys. Shout out to my friend Ashley Huff of Ashley Huff Photography. She's here in Austin. She took these photos and more. I'll have her stuff linked below because she is incredible if you're local. Okay, guys. Yeah, I know. It's a... Okay, come on. Uh, the closet goes all the way around, which is kind of cool. Okay, Bentley, Ben, let's go. Okay. What do you want to... You want to go see the next room? Let's go show them your room. Let's go show them 
your room, which is right here. Yes, good job. This is your room, buddy. So Ben and Finn have their own room, which is in here. Come on, Bentley. Come on, Ben. Good job. Hi. Yeah. I already put your dog bed in here. Yeah. This will be the dog room. And no, you, you didn't hear that incorrectly. Uh, the dogs will have their own room completely dedicated to their space. Because um, remember, with the foster dogs, I need a space for foster dogs and I need a space for these dogs. And that was extremely important to me. It was a massive priority when buying this house. Go on in, Ben. Yeah, so that's the guest bathroom. Hi. <laughs> so, you know, I love the flooring so damn much because I just love the, the color, the charcoal color, you know, the floating. I don't know. It's just pretty cool. Uh, nothing too exciting, but this will be the guest bathroom. Okay, let's show them the master. Go on, Ben. Yeah. There you go. So here's the master bedroom, which I love because one, lighting is everything to me. I am crazy about light. I need all the light in the world. I am a sun bunny. I do not like cold, dreary days. Like today is completely, it's almost dark outside and it's like 10 in the morning. I mean, it's crazy. Um, and I hate days like this. So I need as many windows as possible to let in as much light as possible. So I'm very excited about the windows, especially up there, because then again, like I said, there's a lot of light. Come here, Bentley. Hi, good job, Dean. Hi, Ben. <laughs> uh, what I love about it though, is the bed can fit here. And then there's a little sitting area here I could put their dog beds. And finally, the master bathroom. Now, I am flipping in love with these floors. I'm in love with the shower. Go on in, guys. Bentley, go on in. Come here. Go in. Good job. That's plenty big for you. Yeah. What do you think? Do you guys like the shower? But it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool setup. Uh, I like that. And there's the bathroom. What, baby? You're just excited. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in. It's your first time seeing the house. Then we have the walk-in closet. There we go. Please comment down below how you think I should decorate and to Finn found more bandanas. <laughs> how you think I should decorate the dog room, what ideas you have for the patio. I'm actually gonna start a Pinterest account so um, I'll have that linked down below. It'll just be my name, Rachel Fasaro. Oh, and before I pop off, let me go ahead and do Bark Remark because I don't wanna forget that, uh, which is like comment of the day. This one is on my How to Care for a Golden Doodle video by Zena Biznu. Uh, and the, Zena said, I just subscribed. I can see me checking out this channel every two, three hours, heart emoji, heart emoji. This is what I was looking for to learn more about my golden doodle. Thank you so, one, and, one year, five months old. Thank you so much. And ton of emojis, which y'all know I love me. Which y'all know I love me some emojis. So thank you so much, Zena, for the love. Um, and again, if you are new here, guys, click that subscribe button. And there's going to be a huge announcement on this channel related to this house and this house tour and the dogs. So click the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss that announcement. Uh, it, I, think, I think it's gonna be extremely exciting. Probably the biggest thing, project, if you will, that I've ever done will be announced in this channel. So, uh, and also, you know, your support helps uh, on my mission to save all the damn dogs. Oh, and guys, I do have merch. Sorry not to self-promote a bunch, but I do have merch. Uh, the, I'll pop up something up on the screen, hi Finn. And all of the proceeds of this t-shirt that I'm selling, this is Save All The Damn Dogs, goes to my favorite foundation called Pause For A Change, which is a Rodney Habib foundation dedicated to the health and wellness and nutrition of Doggos. All right, guys, thank you so damn much for being a part of my life, my dog's life, for loving my dogs, my cat, for supporting me and allowing me to, to just have this platform to, to connect with you guys because it really, it really, it means, it means everything. Uh, and I hope that you have a beautiful day.